know and join us. In the meantime, Nelly and Ludmila, you're on Moodle for Teachers. M4T, please join us. All right. Uh, this is Nelly. Hello. And Hello, I'm really Nelly. excited. Um, you're coming in a little bit low. Oh, if you can I? stay close to the mic, please. Oh. Okay. I'll speak like, uh, who was it? Uh, Leticia. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Okay, you. great. Anyways, um, I've been, hi Ludmilla, I've been giving a lot of free uh, oh. sessions and courses and so on, but Evo is just amazing. I, I, I can't get over the fact that, that, you know, we're doing this and we're so excited. Um, so far, uh, let me just give you uh, what we have for the Moodle for Teachers. We've got, this is the third year, there are five moderators. And the number of the participants keeps going up. So right now it's at 823. Can you believe that? We'll see what happens at the end. I'll fill you in <laughs> on uh, what they're doing. We started yesterday with a live session because we wanted to get people ready for tomorrow. But apparently they're so active that they're keeping us up 24-7. Uh, the Moderators are from Poland, Venezuela, and the UK, United States, and Canada. So we've pretty much covered, I think, well, except for Australia. We've got someone else who's interested in helping out. If you know of volunteers who would like to uh, be sub-moderators or just helpers, that would be great. Um, there are two main areas. There is the WizIQ Live classes with the content that will stay there forever, even after the course ends, after the Moodle course ends. We also have the Moodle for Teachers uh, course area. You can go in um, as a guest. You can't add any content or do very much, but you can uh, roam and just check things out on the Moodle. And we have a uh, Moodle practice area for teachers where they can practice all the uh, Moodle features. What's exciting is that there are lots of new plugins for the Moodle 2.5 and one of the uh, big attractions uh, was developed by Justin Hunt from uh, I think he's in Korea or somewhere in that area, Japan maybe. He developed something called Moodle, a Poodle, sorry. So there's Poodle on Moodle and Ludmilla is going to talk a little bit about her Poodle maybe. But what's great about the Poodle is that it's a recorder. Uh, by the way, Justin Hunt is an English teacher as well as a software developer. So the, uh, the Moodle is a recorder. It's an audio and video recorder. So language learners can finally express themselves through a recorder on the Moodle. So uh, we're really excited about that and some other features that have come into uh, Moodle. Ludmilla? I'll let you um, go on for the rest of the time. Thank you, everyone. Well, I think uh, I think Nelly um, addressed and discussed almost everything, but it was uh, amazing to see how uh, how big interest is to the workshop model for teachers. And yesterday we had uh, a session and. People, we had some technical difficulties, but the, the uh, participants didn't leave, um, and they were interested. And besides Moodle, we also use, uh, we involve, engage our participants in um, different activities and using uh, Web 2.0 tools. And uh, in our first session, we invited uh, our participants to introduce themselves using also evil uh, tradition 3.2.1 introductions and we use Flipgrid, a very interesting tool, uh, MoveNote, and um, our participants are really engaged and they, uh, besides the tools that are available on Moodle, um, as Nelly said, Poodle, <laughs> But um, in their uh, real life, some, uh, some Moodle um, uh, in different uh, schools or in the institutions, they might not have that uh, plugin, so they can use uh, other tools to introduce themselves. 
and uh, so we really were excited about that. So during the first week, we always spend time on engaging people and creating this community of and warm people. So it was really great, and it's a great tradition. It's a wonderful opportunity. Five minutes.